Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to do your June 14th, 2022 full moon reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy that we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. We have here the Five of Pentacles. So there's something that, it's kind of like a train wreck actually, coming forward. It's like the hound chasing the hare and she can't bear to look. There's there's something here where we don't want to face it, even though it's not going to affect us the way that we think it is going to affect us, all right? Or we don't know the outcome the way that we think we do. We, the way that we think we, we do, there we go. So just be very aware here that there's also a negative energy that we're carrying with us that we're putting into a situation we're putting in during this moon because this moon has a tendency, this is a super moon, and it's in Sagittarius, but the sun is in Gemini. This moon has a a real tendency to have our imagination, what we're thinking about, really come forward more than what's actually happening. So we have to be very mindful because we're going to have this... Spirit is just showing this way of like worst case scenario always coming up in our head. So we have to be very aware of that. Now let's look at our chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. We have the soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. And this is soul's healing. This is a healing, beautiful energy coming into our lives, being a part of us. This is a centering and a, a real understanding of what we want, what we need, where we're headed. There's just a peace coming over us, which is very interesting since we do have the five of pentacles where we have that chaotic energy coming forward. So our chakra energy is healing us, and yet we have a tendency towards greater imagination, uh, towards worry, doubt, fear, the greater imagination, if we can harness that towards what we really want and towards, you know, what we're we're going after and really see ourselves visualizing and, and using that sort of imaginative power to get us to where we want to be, that would be excellent. But if we use it and just keep on seeing worse state worst case scenarios, we're going to trip ourselves up 110%. So let's look at what the moon is saying for herself. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. There we go. Angels and spirit guides. Okay. So let's just turn everything over. Okay, so 
the Sagittarius energy of this moon, like we talked about before, is, is coming through very powerfully. This is the, the full moon in Sagittarius. We have the new moon coming through here. So this says, luck is on your side. During this time, in the quiet of our mind, we have to remember that luck is on our side, that we are beautifully and mindfully and, and purposefully moving forward. It's kind of like we're taking aim on something and we can, again, psych ourselves out completely. But if we just remember luck is on our side, as we take aim, the arrow will fly true. So again, be very mindful of psyching yourself out. Our energy to be mindful of, what we find very challenging is surrendering. We want to be in control. We don't want to surrender. We don't want to, you know, sit there and think, oh, okay, this can work out some other way or I don't have to be in control of it. We want to micromanage. And so that is the real, that's the real chaos that's coming forward during this time. Now, what's interesting is that during this time, because our imagination is so strong and because the way that we visualize and see things is so strong, media plays a huge part of this. So be mindful of the movies that you're watching. Be mindful of the, the books that you're reading. Be mindful of the, the music that you're listening to. Any form of media is going to greatly influence you. Mercury is also entering into Gemini. And at this time, it makes communication and travel so important to us. It's like we're we're looking at trips, even if we don't go anywhere. We're kind of dreaming of booking a trip somewhere. We're looking at travel. We're gaining ideas for the summer or for where we want to be and where we want to go or for the, you know, yeah, just, just travel. So it moves us then to what we're focusing on. And it's a personal issue reaching resolution. There is something that, and it can be the the inclination towards wanting to book a trip, wanting to travel is to kind of push off the chaos that is around us. But this personal issue reaches this resolution. And what the moon is saying to us is like, don't worry, I got this. Don't worry, you're you're better off than you have imagined. And so there's this chaos within us or there's this thing that has been worrying us. And now we're starting to see it's like, oh, okay. You know, it's it's healing itself. It's working itself out. It's not as bad as I thought it was. It moves us then to our past, which was all about patience. It was all about patience to line up what we want, what we need, what we're looking for, what we desire within our lives. And that patience is is really quite profound because we're going to find that we can wait, which was something that we always needed to work on. We wanted everything instantaneously. Now it's like, okay, let me calmly wait or let me see or let me just kind of step back a bit. It moves us to our strength, which is your commitment is being tested. Our strength is knowing that, okay, yeah, I'm in a testing time, but this testing time won't last forever. And as I'm being tested, as my commitment to what I want is being tested, I'm starting to see things very nuancedly. I'm starting to see the many different shades of things. So instead of thinking it's black or it's white, you know, white page, black print, we're starting to see a, a mural being drawn. We're starting to see something extraordinary coming forward that needs the shading, that needs the depth. It brings us then to our near future, which is self-reflection. We're going to be looking at things and looking at ourselves and kind of questioning, you know, is that what I needed or is that what I wanted or is that where I wanted to be? And we're looking at ourselves and instead of being angry, we're going to look at ourselves and say, wow, you know, wow, Leo, I've really come far. Or wow, I'm really heading in a direction that at one point in my life felt unobtainable. And that's that's going to be a really joyous moment. I just... Oh, wow, Leo. I feel it really deeply for for you guys. It's like, all of a sudden, it's like, this is what I've always dreamt of, or this is what I wanted. And again, at one point in our lives, it felt so far away. It felt like it would be completely unobtainable. And now it's becoming part of our reality. And that is just absolutely beautiful. If we did mirror work, if we looked in the mirror, and we said to ourselves, you know, Leo, replace it with your name, right? Or whatever you call yourself. It's like, Leo, you are a success. Leo, you are powerful. Leo, you are love. Leo, you are triumphant. You know, that's going to be so important because when we reflect and we see how far we've come, when we look at things now, we're just worried because we're afraid that, you know, we haven't learned the patience, that we're going to fall into the same patterns. And it's really saying here, no, that's not what happens. It moves us to our suggested approach, which is work through your fears. That's Really what, what Spirit is saying, this moon is all about as it brings forward our imagination as the philosopher, you know, the philo yeah, the philosophizing Sagittarius comes forward to the questioning Gemini. And it's like, okay, where do I want to be? You know, 
what do I need? We start to work through our fears and the things that have held us back. And it brings us to understanding that we need to, to really tap into that masculine energy. That could be something that it's kind of hard for us to tap into that max masculine energy. We could feel much more comfortable tapping into the feminine energy. The way that I love to see which energy we feel most comfortable with is just visualize yourself as a child, right? Which parent did you go to? Or who did you feel safe with? If it wasn't a parent, was it a teacher? Was it an aunt, an uncle, you know, a grandparent? Who did you feel most connected to? Because that's the energy that is going to be building around you, that you're, you've kind of built the cornerstone of yourself off of. If it was the masculine energy, it's knowing here, I need to embrace and embody that masculinity, that, that masculine energy that was so comforting to me. If it was the feminine energy, we need to realize, okay, we've developed that muscle within us. We've developed that femininity. Now it's time to also develop the masculinity. So that's going to be very important. It moves us to our hopes and our fears, and our hopes and our fears are the full moon in Leo. So we're shining very brightly here, and it says don't let pride get in the way. We are hoping that we're doing the right thing. We fear that we're not. We fear that we're kind of mucking it up and that our pride is taking over. And instead of saying, okay, this is what I want because of X, Y, Z, it's, it becomes a competition, and it will always be a competition. It moves us to our potential future. We're going towards what we're hungering for. We're going towards what is deeply important to us. And we hunger, we desire, we're determined to get it. And that's that's a very powerful thing. It's like, okay, this is where I need to be. This is what I want. And this is what's calling me forward. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Okay, I'm going to put them over here. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Just because it's easier to compare the two. Okay, put these like this. All right, so let's turn everything over. All right, so we start with where we are now, and that is the two of wands. We're at a place where the doors are starting to open to us. We're at a place where we're looking at things and saying, well, can I move forward that way? And what will that be like? And how will I do this? So we're looking at the outside world and we kind of want things to be a little bit more stable, a little bit more like, okay, that's exactly it. Then it is going to be. So just be aware of that. It moves us to our challenge, which is the Page of Swords. Now, this could be a young air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that's that's testing us. Like, we feel that they're challenging us in one way or another. They're having us look at things differently, or it's like, how can I handle this? If it's a child, it's like, how can I handle this child and handle either work or my other children or, you know, whatever challenges are coming forward with that person. I do see this more as a person. So it's either an immature, <coughs> excuse me, air sign energy, or it's a child who's bringing up a lot of questions or having you question things or having you look at things in a very different way. The, with the two of wands, as we're looking at the road ahead, the moon is telling us luck is on your side. Like, Stop worrying. Stop trying to plan everything out perfectly. You're not going to be able to anyway as much as you want to. And know that luck is on your side as the door opens, as you're, you're, you're handling this. And it moves us to this energy that's like this questioning, vibrant, you know, curious energy. And we have surrender here. It's like surrender to the questions. And we're going to have so much... We're going to want to hold on to it. We're going to want to control something that is is very much its own person. You know, if it's a person, you know, they're, they're making it very known that I have my own identity. I know what it is that I want. But if it's, if it's an idea, if it's, you know, something that we want to go after, if it's, you know, I, I don't know exactly, I just feel like it's really a person who's really letting their own individualized identity come forward. And it can be that we need to be more questioning, more seeking, you know, we need to surrender more to deeper knowledge. That can also be the case. But this is also, you know, kind of like a child really asserting their independence, or it's, it's a person who's super curious, and you're like, oh my gosh, how do I, how do I foster their curiosity, and still 
you know, do everything that needs to be done. That that's yeah, that's very powerful here. What we're focusing on, it's the five of pentacles. It's that energy that we need to be mindful of. It's a sense of lack. It's like I'm on the outside of wealth and prosperity and bounty and everything that I need and everything everything that I want. And yet a personal issue is reaching its resolution. We're not on the outside. We're not on the outside looking in. And yet it feels that way. So we have to trust that what the moon is saying, like that what the knowledge is coming forward, is making it so that we're we're in a safe place. We're in a good place. And yet it's so easy for us to turn to that negative and be so worried, want to plan, want to protect everything or want to like, you know, micromanage everything. It's just not going to work that way. The more we try to hold on during this time, the more we're going to be forced to let go. And that's going to be something that just is absolutely frustrating. So I'm sorry to convey it, but it is something that spirit is making very, very clear. Our past is the 10 of cups. We're looking at what we love, where we're looking at patience, you know, how is the family developed? Like how are our dreams developed? How is what we love and want and need developed? We have to have patience with it. It's taking roads and twists and turns that we, we hadn't expected. It brings us to our strength. We're being told, pulled in two very distinct directions, all right? And that's very powerful for this time. What we need to know is that yes, your commitment is being tested, but that's because our mind is being cluttered. We need to really look at what we want, state it, and focus on it. Focus on it. And we can be like laser focused during this time. That's going to be a really good thing. People can say, oh, you're you're being too focused. Yeah, okay. That's their opinion. But here it's like, okay, I'm really going after what I need, what I want, and I'm, I'm getting it done. It moves us to our near future, which is the chariot. Now, this is cancer energy, but this is also taking the reins. It's taking the reins. It's seeing what we want. It's knowing what we desire and saying, that's it, period, and stop. As we're reflecting, as we're looking at where we want to be, what's important to us, what we deeply desire, <clears throat> what we want to build within our lives. It moves us then to our suggested approach. Now, we have the five of wands, which is interesting. It says work through the fear. Here, what is being suggested to us is that the fear really does cause chaos. And it causes us to look at things differently. It causes us to doubt ourselves. It causes us to be overwhelmed. It causes us to think, oh, I can't do this. So here, when we're working through our fears, we also need to work through and not be you know, pulled into the chaos that has become so natural to us. It's almost like breathing. It's like, no, 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 no. Now it's time for me to be much more focused on where I want to be and not step into the chaos. It's kind of like, it's like stepping into the gossip or it's stepping into the fight. Like there's, there's little tiffs going on, little fights going on. And it's not saying to not be a mediator, especially if you have kids, like sometimes, you know, you have to be, or you're in charge of leading a group of people. You have to be the manager. You have to be the one that says, okay, listen, cut this out. But there's some petty differences that are going on here that can kind of take over. And Spirit is saying here, like, stop it. Stop it. The moon is saying, work through your fears. Take a stance. Know what it is that you want. And stay steady on that course. It moves us then to what we need to know. And it's the masculine energy. And it's the page of wands. That's us. This is us as the student energy. So here... As we embrace the masculine, we're also learning how to really celebrate what we desire, what we want, what's important to us, what we're going after, what we need for ourselves. And it moves us then to our hopes and our fears, which is don't let pride get in the way, but still rule, but still be that emperor, that Aries energy. Remember, Aries is the god of war. He is the eternal general. So here when it's saying don't let pride get in the way, but still we need to be the commander, right? We need to be the one who's leading things forward. That's just going to be a very natural road for, role for us, but also one that we need to take on personally. So here, it's like, take the ego, understand where your ego is coming from, but also look at the way that you desire moving forward, look at who it is that you are, and know that you are in a leadership position. So People are going to squawk at you. People are going to try and manipulate the thing, you know, the situations and everything that you have, like all the authority that you have. But now is the time to really sit there and say, this is what I need to get done. This is what's important. My ego is not a part of this. This is the task. This is how it needs to be ex executed. It moves us then to our hunger. We hunger to be free of the chains that have bound us. We hunger to not be the puppet and not have to cover our ears to try and, and drown out a lot of the negativity that has been overwhelming us. 
this is a time where we're looking at things and we're saying, well, what do I want? That's why the past and patience, as we find what we love, we find what we really want. That's so important because we hunger for that freedom. We hunger for that intensity, that beauty around us. We hunger to be free from living up to everybody else's expectations and forgetting our own. It moves us then. Yeah, because somebody's going to try and, okay, so somebody's trying to manipulate the situation. They just are. They like to be in control. That's who they are. That's what they like to do. And we're hungering for our freedom, but we're also hungering to like make sure that we're making the right decisions. We're knowing the way that we move forward. There's also a doubt around us where we just always feel like off of this bad decision or this one thing, every decision has to be made. And it's like, no, it's time to forgive yourself. It's time to move forward. It moves us to our subconscious energy, okay, which is balance the spirit balance spirituality and practicality, which is about this time where we have the imaginative, we have the the dream state be so powerful and almost take over the reality. We need to balance the two, but we have a lot of fear here. It's like, but what if I let go of the dream? What if the reality floods over me and I realize I can't? Or what if, you know, the the dream floods over me and I realize I never will? And that's going to be something we battle during this time, Leo, and we just have to be aware of it because it's not fair, it's not nice, but it is where we are right now in this journey. And so the dream starts to come forward, but we also need to hold the reality true to ourselves and say, okay, where am I now? And how can I do this? And how do I move forward? It moves us to our our tarot, 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 there we go, energy, subconscious energy, which is the two of pentacles. We're trying to balance everything. And yet we are forgetting to balance ourselves. And that's going to be so important because the more that we take on, the more that we take on, the more we need to be centered within ourselves. We're going to have the tendency to burn the candle at both ends until we just can't anymore. So just be aware. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of the five of cups. It's saying here, change your mind, change your life, change what you are focusing on. Because again, it'll be so easy during this time for one reason or another to really focus and live in the negative. This is a time where we could even think, okay, I'm really living in the positive or I'm being very positive about myself. And then we can realize our negative speech around us. We can realize the hurtful, hateful things we say to ourselves because we feel frustrated in one, in one category of our lives. So just be aware of this. It moves us to our subconscious chakra energy, which makes perfect sense. It's the heart chakra. It's forgiveness. We need to forgive. We need to let go. We need to release into love for ourselves. And we can forgive other people. That's fine. But the most powerful person we can ever forgive is ourselves for not being perfect, for not making all the right decisions, for having mistakes. But still, we need to love us. And that's going to be so important right here, right now. Even if People would laugh at the things that we need to forgive ourselves for. We need to sit there and say, okay, it's not your fault, you know, or, you know, you have to stop making this such a big thing. Even if nobody else understands, we do. And that's, and that's what's important. Okay. All right, Leo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time, of ourselves, and of this moon. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Leo, and may you have a blessed moon.